This dude probably in the video doesn't even know he's being used by Chuds as propaganda. Get up, come down here, and I, I, what I see, I was not prepared for. I knew it was going to be a disaster, but I didn't know what a disaster looked like until I saw it. And you, and you, I can hear the the emotion in in just in what you're saying. I mean, what is what is the family feeling right now? It's tough. Um, you know, this is a business that that my parents started 40 years ago, small out of their garage. It was a, it was a small business. Uh, did it just to make a few extra dollars and eventually it grew um, 31 years ago they bought this building and so we've been here ever since um, they they're very Wars upset about house. it it's emotionally hurtful uh, what we didn't do anything to anybody you know, why did we deserve it yes, sir just my final question this morning get up come down here and um so why does he have the fuck my shit up haircut? I mean, he literally does like that. I feel bad. Like, I, I still feel bad. I don't know what the fuck this guy's, uh, I don't know what the fuck this guy's business is. Like, it, it doesn't matter. It still sucks. Like, it still fucking sucks. It's not a, it is what it is situation. I don't know what the circumstances are. I don't know how the fuck this person's business caught on fire. So I'm not quick to be like, this is Antifa. Like Tim Pool is doing. This doesn't fit our narrative. Skip the video. I don't, though. I literally address. I just took a 10 to 12 minute derailing to talk about the McCloskeys, which shouldn't fit my narrative. And, and I, I talked about it and addressed the points. I don't think you guys understand what my narrative is. My narrative is I don't give a fuck. Also, saying skip this video while I literally watch the video throughly is, is so dumb. Yeah, I watched, I, I literally watched the entire RNC excited from point to, from this top to bottom, start to finish. So I assume this is from Kenosha, right? It still fucking sucks. I hope that this person can get some, uh, I hope this person can get help. This is how the government is supposed to work. While there is also a presence of law and order, but in the absence of any sort of law and order for the people who are fucking clearly agitated for endless amounts of brutality that they are subjected to by that same government, they're going to retaliate. Some of that retaliation is going to slip in to small businesses that did not deserve it, okay? You know how you stop all of this? You concede to the demands of the protesters, and you make sure that there are that there are actually material changes being made. It's not like people are fucking burning down buildings every weekend. That's not how this happened. Do you know why we're having more and more of these fucking struggles now? It's because people are understandably and reasonably agitated. So if you want to solve the problem, which by the way, the majority of Americans do, uh, it's crazy, at least uh, in the immediate uh, aftermath of the George Floyd protests, the majority of Americans understood that while the protests could go violent from time to time, they wanted to uh, solve the issue at the heart of the problem rather than just like quashing the protests, squashing them as best as possible. That's the best way. That's what you do. That's what leaders do. That's why we vote for people. Okay? That's what theoretically is the reason why we vote for people. If you can't do that, then why the fuck are we voting at all? The American people are tired of women. Kenosha Brothers in a Republican county defeats the Democrat city narrative. I mean, it doesn't matter. They're going to say that there are Democrats that are doing it from out of state or out of county. Democrats is code word for blacks, dude. How do you not understand this at this point? It, like anytime someone says Democrat run cities, they mean blacks, okay? I will just say it as it is. They mean blacks and they don't even mean blacks. They mean something else. They want to say something else, but they can't. So they say Democrats because they can't say blacks because everyone knows that's racist. This is a deranged pervert. Everywhere is a Democrat run city.
Yeah. And by the way, this person should be fucking pissed off. I've been saying this so much, and I will repeat it. I said this uh, during the Minneapolis uh, revolt. Hey, man, you know the cops have one fucking duty, right? It's to maintain a presence of law and order, okay? And oftentimes, that law and order presence is built upon an unjust hierarchy to begin with. But if you want to maintain a presence of law and order, here's what you can do. Don't fucking focus on peaceful protesters, agitate them, turn them into a violent mob, and then hyper-focus on that violent mob while the city is on fucking fire. You're basically just admitting you can't fucking work. You can't do your job. Do your fucking job, cops. You have one fucking job. It's literally to just stand there. Your, co your job as a cop is to be there, okay? Is to be a present thing that symbolizes that there is some order here. Now, that is for, of course, predominantly wealthy white people. Your presence as a, uh, your presence as a, oh, fuck, I gotta turn off the deleted emotes, hold on. Deleted messages, because people are gonna start spamming ASCII shit. I wanna, no, 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 Den Bongino, I wanna be at the RNC. How about, how about, how about, Den Bongino, I wanna, okay. Where were we? All right, let's keep going. Um, so. BLM started protesting in 2012 and there was a Democratic presidency for four years. People just don't understand the shit. You aren't going to make these people understand. I know, but if I gave up, that would be kind of idiotic. This is if I gave up, that would be kind of stupid, wouldn't it? Seven months with you creaming to generate. Like, that's my entire like point. York? My entire job is to. Get people to recognize, get people to understand things that they're having a hard time comprehending. This is a deranged pervert. Anyway. So, what was I saying? Oh, we were talking about, we were talking about police and what they do. And their presence is supposed to, their presence is supposed to signal that there's law and order here. But if they're too busy knocking on fucking protest their heads and like, you know, shooting projectiles at fucking moms and shit on the streets, then, of course, they're not going to be able to maintain a presence of law and order. So they're effectively not doing a good His job. His name is Okay? Hassan. If you have a job, you should do it. You should do it well. And if you're not doing a fucking good job, then we should change some shit. Is he blaming the police for this one? I, of course I do. Why the fuck wouldn't I? Why, why wouldn't I blame the police? Who the fuck am I supposed to blame? It is so psychotic to look at this and go, it is a violent mob. Like, unless you think that black people or all of the protesters literally have like, you know, those half-life crab things in their fucking domes, making them operate like a hive mind. Of course, I'm going to literally blame the agency tasked with maintaining law and fucking order. This is a deranged and they don't have to maintain law and order by knocking on heads. As a matter of fact, there is plenty of precedent to show that that does the opposite of the intended effect. You radicalize people when you hit them. You radicalize people when they're agitated and they're yelling and they're demonstrating. And then you turn around and you fucking shoot projectiles at them. You turn around and you say, nope, there's a curfew now all the way to 7 a.m. Then you radicalize them and that's it. And the only way you can deal with that, and this is analogous to immigration as well, the only way you can deal with that is by either turning the dial of fascism further and further to the right and it becoming more and more violent, or the humane way of dealing with whores that, which is conceding, meeting their demands as best as you fucking can. So which one is it, America? That is... At the heart of this conversation. Unfortunately, Joe Biden doesn't necessarily represent the concession to the protesters, obviously. I wish he would, though. Meeting their demands? Yes, these people are fucking human beings. They are our fellow citizens. You understand that, right? Them being black might make you feel like they are second-class citizens, but they're not. That's un-American. Okay?
And the hilarious thing is, if you like your fucking weekend, and if you like the fact that we don't have child labor in this country, you should thank those radical leftists for burning shit down. Because ultimately, first they fucking push back, first they crack skulls, and then when the violence continues, then they're like, okay, I guess maybe we should try something different. Okay? That's how this works. Like Lee Atwater leaked tape about the Southern strategy just saying Democrats now. Yeah. Every instance, every modicum, tiny fraction of progress that you take for granted right now as you live and breathe and think is just a normal part of process in American life was fought for with blood, okay? So there's two ways out of this, as is... As there is always two ways out of these sorts of circumstances. You either listen to the demands being made by American citizens. Yes, some of them are black and brown and some of them are advocating for black and brown issues, but they're still American citizens, Republicans, whether you like to admit it or not. Voting for a Democrat does not make you automatically an, a part of the outgroup. Being black or brown does not automatically make you a part of the outgroup. You can cry all about it, you can cry about it all you fucking want, okay? But that's not how this works. This is a deranged pervert. Thank you, Hassan, for speaking about this issue. I am glad that 12k people are listening to this feel strong man because I was served is called MLK a violent protest who led riots back then to any social change will be seen as violent of course of course <sighs> we've been asking for police at least demilitarization for fucking years we gave them military grade equipment from wars we never should have been in crazy high level unions to protect them from any and all scrutiny increased funding and so much more like taking away their acre their access to RPGs and explosive silence, they are as many Dracos and more, plus de-escalation protocol, heightened training, and decreased funding is such a decent start. Absolutely. The fact that the Democratic Party won't concede to that is also psychotic to me. I'm sorry. Seeing a 14-year-old girl who got shot twice in the head with rubber bullets changed me forever. I have, with, I have to withhold my anger constantly because I principally believe in not being violent. But I can't stand the narrative around the protests after being there and seeing the entire mass of people I was with being brutalized. Yeah. I went to a bunch of protests. You want to know why they didn't turn violent, dude? Even though I'm an anti-fascist white agitator, right? I'm an outside agitator. I went to the fucking protests. Why didn't they turn violent? I don't know. Maybe because there was no police presence or very limited police presence. Wet ass P word. Make that pullout game weak. I mean, it's tough from this guy's perspective to just say, yeah, listen to the demands of the people who burn my business down. I'm not talking about this guy. I'm, I'm addressing all the dipshits that are using this guy's pain as their talking point for their politics. I admit that, like, the burning of this dude's business is fucked. Like, it's totally fucked. <coughs> <coughs> His name is Hassan. Hassel. Have you heard of the Fred Hansen film coming out next year? No. Anyway, so let's talk about now that now that we are looking at the innocent white business owner that was harmed as a consequence of this protest and his business was treated as collateral damage. 
now that we saw the true victim of this of this circumstance let's take a look at why this protest began to begin with okay because there's a reason right why are these people protesting in the fucking streets where did this come from how did this happen kenosha wisconsin was uh was angered by a tragic incident involving jacob blake who is now paralyzed from the waist down after being shot by cops seven times in the back doctors don't yet know whether the injury is permanent his name is but his situation Hassan. is stable <laughs> 